Let's focus now. France's far-right national rally leader Marie Le Pen has kicked off her election campaign in her stronghold in the north. According to opinion polls, her party could for the very first time top the June 30th and July 7th vote, but without enough seats to win an absolute majority. In the upcoming snap elections, Le Pen's RN party is set to go head-to-head -head against the united left-wing popular front, while President Emmanuel Macron's camp is currently struggling to make headway against the two blocs. During her campaign, Le Pen warned of quote-unquote great danger that the far left poses in France. This comes after left-wing parties struck a deal to form an alliance. We are facing a great danger, which is the far left that is both radical and violent, and which, and I say this clearly, has violated individual and public freedoms and is composed of people whose ideas are not acceptable. That's the real issue of this election, which is taking place in such a short time. But that's offering great hope for tens of millions of French people. The national rally trounced Macron's centrist alliance in the European Parliament ballot. Now the party's challenge is to transform popularity into a win at home and to convince voters it can be trusted to govern after decades on the margins. Le Pen said that her party will focus on giving back a strong purchasing power to the French as well as limiting the number of immigrants entering France. The other absolute emergency is to immediately take measures to stop the endless task that massive immigration has imposed on the French, which also has consequences on the budget, because we cannot let in 500,000 people per year legally. And I'm not just speaking about illegals. Of course, this brings financial burden on the nation. You have to house these people, give them health care, educate their children, give them a whole string of social services. We cannot do this anymore in the current situation of our country. Meanwhile, the left-wing parties set out their political manifestos for their alliance, which included calling for a ceasefire in Gaza and continuing to support Ukraine against Russia. The alliance also seeks to reverse Macron's pension reforms. It's about proposing to the country a total break from the policies of Emmanuel Macron to meet the immediate needs of the people and make the ecological choices that is essential today. As soon as we come to power, we will decide on price freezing measures on food and energy to immediately restore purchasing power to the French. We will also act immediately to re-establish a path of peace for France on the international scene by supporting Ukraine in the face of Vladimir Putin's war of aggression and by seeking means to obtain an immediate ceasefire in the face of the ongoing massacres in Gaza. Although the left's chances of winning the election are slim, they have sizable political leeway. Their tie-up could bundle enough votes to hinder both Macros and Le Pen's camps from reaching a stable governing majority. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.